amid intense military action in recent weeks in Nagorno-Karabakh and the ongoing conflict between Azerbaijan and Armenia, Turkish-made drones armaments in the Azerbaijani army reduced their activity in the skies over Karabakh and decreased significantly. According to information provided by field sources, Baku has lost nine Bayraktar TB2 attack drones in the last 48 hours. We remind you that the Turkish Bayraktar drone has proved quite successful in recent months in Nagorno-Karabakh. According to an official representative of the Armenian Ministry of Defense, Armenia has put into operation an electronic warfare system, which has not been used so far, but thanks to which, in just 48 hours, Baku lost nine attacking Bayraktar drones. Military experts in the region describe the actions of the Armenian military as a surprise, but not because of the successful actions on the drones, but because of the lack of explanation why Armenia has waited and not used the systems in question so far. One logical explanation is that they were apparently delivered to Armenia very recently, and knowing who Baku's partners are, we are most likely talking about Russia and Russian electronic warfare systems. According to local sources and military analysts, the Turkish drones were hit by these systems, which damaged the drone's electronics and thus disrupted the drone's operation, especially in GPS navigation mapping and interception or marking a specific target. A video released by the Armenian Ministry of Defense clearly shows that there are no traces of a missile strike on the drones, which is a prerequisite for the use of electronic warfare systems. The question remains, what system Armenia is currently using to counter Turkish drone airstrikes over Nagorno-Karabakh? There are two possibilities. Either Armenia has used an existing and armed electronic warfare system, but for unknown reasons they have not been used so far, or it has received a new electronic radio complex from Russia, which may be in the process of development, and the combat operations in Nagorno-Karabakh to be a real combat test of the system. Thank you everyone for watching this video.